Ladies and gentlemen, this is Zach Moonshine with Metal Devastation Radio. And right now on the phone with me, I have Justin Bender from the band Third Ion. What's going on, Justin? Oh, not much. Just uh, just been running around getting things for tour, actually, for our little mini tour we're doing next month. I plan way ahead. <laughs> Very cool. Speaking of that, tell everybody out there uh, listening, what's what's going on right now in the world of Third Ion? Uh, we have, uh, we're just finishing the tail end of, a, I think what's going to be a failed attempt at a Kickstarter campaign, but we'll see. We're still, we still have five days left. Um, and, uh, there's been a little bit of label interest, which I think kind of came out of, uh, the whole Kickstarter thing and just the publicity we've been pushing. And, uh, yeah, and we got six or seven shows coming up in September. From Winnipeg, Manitoba to uh, to Vancouver, British Columbia, just Western Canadian shows, and yeah, that's uh, that's about it. <laughs> and and the album's almost done too. Um, it's all the drums are done and most of the guitars are done, and about probably fifty percent of all the vocals are recorded. So we we're we're doing good. Very cool, man. So h- how long have you guys been a band, and how did you get started? Uh, we've officially been a band since, I guess, January. So that would be whatever that is, six or seven months, eight months, I guess now. And, uh, Aaron and I, uh, Aaron is the drummer, uh, who lives in Winnipeg. We met, uh, just at a venue here in, in Saskatchewan that I work at. And, uh, uh, we just kind of hit it off talking about Prague and, you know, he was showing me his, his killer studio he has and we just became friends and for three or four years we talked about doing this band and then we just kind of finally did it i left into eternity last september or october and uh and then just kind of thought about what i was going to do for a little bit and there next thing you know i got uh I started this project up with Aaron and fairly quickly we got Mike on board because he's another guy that I just kind of met randomly in a very similar way. And, uh, and he wanted to do it. He's, he wants to be in the band and we're just super stoked that he wants to do it. And, and then the singer is just a local guy here in town. So, um, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. yeah I was going to ask you about the connection between, uh, into eternity and the Devin Townsend band. Yeah. Yeah. I played with Into Eternity for seven years. Um, I did all the touring after Scattering of Ashes came out. And uh, and then, uh, except for Gigantour, I joined right after they did Gigantour. I really wish I could have done that tour. <laughs> and um, then uh, and then I was on the Incurable Tragedy and did all the touring after that, too. And then, uh, I mean, I like literally just got home from having lunch with him uh we still talk all the time and and you know they're all still my best friends but just uh it uh that's a long story (laughs) it's uh it's just you know really it just i had a bit of a personal crisis last year and and it caused me to basically kind of make the promise to myself that i wouldn't do any touring or anything for a couple of years because i needed to save some money but I kind of bounced back a little better than I thought I would, and and I'm your I'm a classic musician. I just I can't help myself. So <laughs> as soon as I was even slightly back on my feet, I I started this new thing, and 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 actually I still am going to be going on the road. I did a couple of shows. I'll still be going on the road doing sound for Into Eternity. They're just going to hire me as their front of house guy. I, that's what I do for a living. So. Um, so I still get to hang with them and tour with them. So in some ways, nothing has changed. <laughs> right on, man. Yeah, man. Well, uh, d- dude, I was listening to the two singles that you guys released on YouTube. Uh, cool. Capital Spill and Zero Mass. Cool. Fucking killer shit, man. Killer. <laughs> you just told <laughs> Thanks, me that man. you guys have only been doing it for like seven months. That's crazy. <laughs> how the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I'm, I'm even kind of in disbelief <laughs> myself at how quickly some of that music came together now zero mass uh, that's a that song is a bunch of those are a bunch of riffs that i've had together as that song for probably about two years 
So that one was kind of already ready. But then everything else, Aaron and I wrote together. And then now there's a new one, too, that Mike wrote pretty much the bulk of. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of surprising. And the thing is, too, uh, Aaron and his studio are in a city that's about a five-hour drive from here. So uh, that whole album has been written and recorded at his studio over five, I think. Yeah, five trips to Winnipeg. So I think, like, in January, February... April, and then twice in the last month. So that's five trips that I went out there for just three or four days. We managed to hammer out this album. It's crazy, actually. I'm kind of, uh, I kind of can't believe it. I usually, I'm usually not that creative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you when uh, Scott sent it over to us, man, and I, I was listening to it. For my first thoughts were, how can I, how come I haven't fucking heard of this before? <laughs> Whereas now I understand, but. <laughs> It just kind of happened. That's that's why. <laughs> now the name itself, Third Ion. How, how did you guys come up with that? What does it mean to you? Um, it's a play on words of Third Eye, right? Like the the whole, you know, you know yeah. what I mean, like the third yeah. the Third Eye thing. Uh, and th- that was just kind of a random thing. Aaron and I were sitting down the first time I went out there after we had recorded a couple of tunes, and we were like, "Okay, we need a name for this project," and we had a couple of ideas, Google search it. No, it's already taken. And I don't even remember what any of those ideas were. Uh, and we were just kind of chatting, just bouncing, brainstorming, bouncing ideas back and forth. And I can't even remember who said it first, but one of us said, you know, third eye, third eye on. And then just the, the music is very nerdy. The music is very science fiction and video game influenced lyrically and and even there are moments musically where capital spill is the only song that really isn't that way everything else is capital spill so it's kind of too bad that we released that first we were just really digging that song so we decided to release it but everything else is a lot more um uh obvious that there's a kind of nerdy sci-fi geek kind of connection to it and and an ion being a atomic particle and then the play on words on third eye, we just, uh, and our love of tool and they have, you know, third eye is kind of a big thing for them. So it just kind of all melded together into, and then Google search, nobody's got it. The dot com was available. It was like meant to be. So we picked that up within literally within five minutes of coming up with the name. We bought the domain names and all that stuff t- to just make sure we could get it. That's funny you mentioned Tool because I was going to ask you about your influences and when I was listening to it I kept thinking this is sort of like like Rush meets Tool meets I don't know what what, what can you tell us about your influences Um my personal influence uh are uh, definitely Tool for sure um I'm not like a a rabid fan like it seems like most people either absolutely love them or or just aren't interested at all and I'm one of those rare people that actually kind of falls somewhere in the middle. I really do like them, but I don't think I've ever even listened to 10,000 days front to back. Uh, it's, it's really cool, but I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it's kind of a casual interest, but I'm a really big dream theater fan. Uh, I have been for, you know, probably about 15 years and, and, uh, and I was fortunate enough to tour with them too. That's another little highlight nice. for me into eternity days. Um, and, they so they've always they were an influence on me before, but then after that they it's just they've they've got a diehard fan for life, and um, they yeah that's probably musically my biggest influence. Even though I could not even come close to comparing myself to John Petrucci, <laughs> that guy is just an absolute master, and I and I barely even practice, so <laughs> it's it would be a shame to try to. Uh, uh, compare myself to them, but they're a huge influence for sure. And, and, uh, and vocally I've kind of taken a lot, um, in, in, in my opinion anyway, from Alice in Chains. I'm a big Alice in Chains fan. I actually just saw them a couple nights ago and, uh, and, and just songwriting wise, I like the way Jerry Cantrell writes tunes. Um, the way that he, you know, composes, the kind of minor key, even a little bit of that harmonic minor scale kind of stuff. Yeah. And, uh, it's just, it's just so tasteful. And I've tried to 
you know, let that be an influence. Then plus your standards. I grew up listening to Metallica and Pantera and Megadeth and, you know, stuff like that that I still listen to today. Opeth is actually Opeth is quite possibly my favorite band of all time. I love that band. I can't believe I didn't mention that sooner. Opeth <laughs> is fantastic. So Opeth and Dream Theater are probably the two absolute biggest influences. Right on, man. Yeah. Now, uh, the the local scene, are, are you guys big in the local scene, or are you more of a touring band? Well, that's still kind of yet to be determined. We haven't played a show yet. Um, our first shows are coming up in September. Okay. We haven't yet. We haven't played a single show yet, so that's still yet to be determined. Um, what is the local scene like there? It's pretty good. Um, we've had we have this. Uh, we have a, a lady here in town, Zandra, who I think probably about two thousand five ish. She started promoting shows. And I didn't live here yet, but I w- I always was paying attention to the scene here because I, I grew up a few hours away up north. And uh, she there was there wasn't a whole lot going on a, a big metal show a year at best, and like Cannibal Corpse would come through every few years, and uh, there really wasn't a lot. But then she's really flipped that around. She uh, like she's bringing uh, that Death to All to her is coming right away. Uh, she's, she's brought, she's brought behemoth. She's brought, you name it. Oh man, I'm drawing blanks, but she just brought iced earth not too long ago featuring, uh, into eternity's former singer, Stu. She just brought them through. Um, yeah, she, she pretty much single-handedly turned it around as far as the big metal shows. She puts on shows for local bands as well too. She's, the uh, like the venue manager at the exchange here in town, which is a venue that I do uh, live sound at a lot. And yeah, she's, she's really like done a lot. There's a lot of people in the scene actually that have chipped in. And uh, it's actually, if you look back, if you take a step back, I don't know if, I mean, I've only really lived in a couple places. I've toured a lot. I've seen a lot of places and I've had, you know, played with local bands in all these different cities all around North America, but you don't really get a good gauge on how other scenes are. But I got to think, I I feel like, like we have something kind of special here. There's been just a influx of just amazing bands coming out of Regina these days. Um, Troy from into eternity has a new band called planet eater that, uh, when we're done on here, I should actually send you a link. It's really cool. It's one of the heaviest things I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, definitely, man. Send that shit over. We'll fucking play it. Yeah, man. Uh, there's just all kinds of great stuff going on. Now, as far as your plans for the future, you, you've got the album coming out. Uh, you were saying something about Kickstart. What's, what's going on with all that? Well, the Kickstarter was to try to fund actual production of physical copies of the cds because metal is kind of one of the last uh genres where people still really want the actual cd the full album or vinyl vinyl is huge again and we would like to press vinyl and press cds and do all that stuff and release the album uh that way and and we're on our own there's uh like i said there's been some label interest but Labels these days are, I like what I'm seeing. I like the kind of modern model that they have where they're very artist friendly, large percentages to the artist, which is really cool. They don't really throw any money at you though. That's the trade off. They don't, they can't really, they don't have the capital to help you do what we're trying to do with our Kickstarter, which is to, to produce a bunch of CDs. Luckily we have studio gear and can do most of the recording and production work ourselves. Cause that's what we do for a living, all of us. So, um, we're lucky there, but we still need to, I've, I've been basically spending all my extra cash putting our, our touring rig together. So, uh, so, so that's the thing we're just, we're just trying to kind of figure out how we're going to release the album. Cause if the Kickstarter doesn't go through, which it may still, uh, there's, I still have hope. We actually had a bunch of really great, uh, backers, couple people, 150, 250, you know, people chipping in pretty good chunks today or pledging, I should say, uh, some pretty good chunks of money today. And, uh, so it's given me hope we could still do it, but if we don't make the goal, um, we're just going to have to try to figure out how to release the album ourselves and, 
or if we want to go through a label, we still, I mean, we still have to produce the record uh, and uh, manufacture copies. So that's, that's where, where that stands. And then uh, see, also see how these shows go. We booked six shows, I think, and um, it'll be just, it's kind of an experiment. I haven't done a new band from the ground up like this in many, many years. So uh, it's just all, it's just a big experiment. <laughs> <laughs> right on man well judging by what i've heard already so far i'm definitely looking forward to hearing more for sure cool man cool. and uh we'll share you know we'll share whatever links we can from the kickstarter and whatnot on uh on the uh on the website cool please do thank you hell yeah dude well uh justin i'm about out of questions for you man is there anything you want to tell uh the fans and listeners out there that are tuned in uh just you know, pay attention to thirdion.com. Uh, we we have a lot more material than we've been letting on. There's going to be some really great stuff that you guys are going to be able to hear pretty soon. And uh, yeah, just if you if you can help out, throw into the Kickstarter. Every little bit goes a long way, and uh, and uh, we appreciate it very much. So just uh, yeah, check it out and look for us on tour and hopefully we'll hit the states or eastern canada in the next year if everything goes well in western canada first fuck yeah justin well dude before i let you go i gotta get you to make a station tag cool cool yeah all right man just say uh say this is justin bender from third ion and you're listening to metal devastation radio cool anytime yeah whenever you're ready cool this is Justin Bender from Third Ion, and you are listening to Metal Devastation Radio. <laughs> 